Hello, friends, how are you? Um, something came for me in the mail, and I thought that you might be interested in opening it up with me. So this came in the mail because we're supposed to be staying safe at home now, and not going to the stores to shop unless we absolutely have to. And so I decided to buy some things on the internet, and they sent it in my mailbox. So I want you to listen as a clue to what's inside. I'll show you the shape of it, so let's use our eyes first. It's inside a little envelope. And the envelope is puffy. Right, now listen. Sounds like a rattle, doesn't it? Any guesses? What's in here? Mm, shall we open it? Let's open it. Do you know what these are? Some of you might. I know that many of you have been doing some gardening with your family now that we're learning from home. And um, we're just the same. We've been gardening here as well. And I went and I ordered some seeds. These are seeds. Seeds are the little tiny part of a fruit, a plant, that is going to grow into a sprout and then a large plant later. So it's kind of like a baby plant. And these are some seeds that we got. We have a lot of seeds, um, a lot of different kinds of seeds in our house here. And I organized them all into this box. Some of these ones come with pictures. There's spinach and lettuce. I wonder if you guys are, how many of you are doing gardening at home as well or planting some seeds? Yeah, I've seen some great pictures. If you have more pictures of things you're growing, feel free to send them. I thought I'd show you today um, some ways that we've been planting vegetables and flowers um, at our home here and maybe you could try it too. So one thing we've been doing with our seeds is, is making little starts. So I've been using these cups. These are these little paper cups that you um, get a little drink of water from, but you could use any kind of paper cup, a big paper cup, you could use a plastic cup, a tin can, a jar from the recycling, anything that your family says is okay. And then I've put in some soil. I actually didn't buy any special soil. I just scooped it out of the ground in an area on my yard that I had some really nice soft soil. So I scooped it out of the ground and made sure there was a little bit of room at the top and packed it down. Made sure there wasn't any really big sticks or rocks in there. You just pick those out. And then you're going to put your seeds inside. And if you have any seeds at home, you could try it. Or if you don't have seeds at home, you could try planting a seed from a fruit. Maybe you ate an apple and you could open up that apple, take out those seeds and put them in there. Maybe you had a strawberry and the seeds are all around the outside and you want to pull them off and try those in there. Maybe an orange. Ask your family um, when you're eating a fruit or a vegetable. Hey, where's the seed in this? have them help you look inside and you could experiment with some of those seeds as well if you don't have your own dried packets of seeds. I have so many seeds here and these are mostly vegetables. How about we plant a bean? Do you want to plant a bean? Yeah, let's plant a bean. Those are really good. So to plant your seed, you need a little bit of help reading the back of the package. So on the back of the package, it will sometimes tell you how deep the seed needs to be. If you plant it too deep, it'll take too long for the plant to grow out a sprout, reach up, and gather the sunlight. Your plant really wants to gather the sunlight. That's how it's going to make the sugars and food it needs to grow. If you plant it too close to the top, then the seed might get too cold or too wet or too dry, and it might never sprout at all. So on the back of your package, it'll usually tell you how deep that seed likes to be buried and what's just right. Do you want to see these beans? Yeah, they're pretty awesome. When I'm choosing my seeds, I'm going to make sure I choose one that's whole. You see how this little guy is broken? Yeah, he probably won't sprout into a whole plant. So I'll pick one. I like the looks of this little guy here. I'm going to wiggle him down into the earth tuck him into bed with a little covering of dirt and then you need to water him and he needs to always be wet he also needs to be warm so I put you can put him in the window where the sun shines 
You can put them in a sunny spot in your garden. Or I've even seen some of you guys have greenhouses and that would keep your seed warm too. But please make sure that you water it. Right now I'm gonna put them over in the rain. It's raining today and he'll get some water from the sky. There's another way you can grow things if you don't have any seeds and this is the coolest, I think. So what you do is you get vegetables that you have in your refrigerator. It's amazing. And um, vegetables are plants. Did you know that? They're plants. So this is something called the green onion. You might have eaten this before. I like to put this in my ramen. And down at the bottom of my green onion are these little things that look like tentacles. But they're roots. They're the root of a plant. So these parts of the green onion used to be in the earth. And the sprout came up. And these green leaves came up and were reaching for the sun. These roots, they gather like little straws. They gather nutrients from the soil, water from the soil, and they spread it out through the plant and it helps them grow. This plant is already full grown, but did you know you can actually make more plants from this one plant? It's true. You are gonna need some kind of container with soil in it already. You don't need something big like this. I just already had this one. And you're gonna need something like a green onion or you can use lettuce. This is actually the, the bottom part, like the stump of a, of a head of lettuce. I've also got a potato here. Look at this. Every little bump in the potato is called an eye and it could potentially turn into uh, new roots and shoots for a new potato. So here's this one here. It's got some new little life starting. And this was a flower that I wanted to see if I could grow more of this flower that I got from my garden. And of course, our green onion. So what do I do with my green onion? Well, I'm gonna cut the end of it off, just like that. I'm gonna keep this part, because this is the part I wanna eat. And this part, I'm gonna put roots down into the earth, wiggle them in the soil, very gently so you don't break the roots. I'm gonna cover it up a little bit. with a little poking out the top. What's gonna happen is that is gonna send out more leaves and grow a nice new big plant. Same with your lettuce. It's hard for you to see on this camera, but there's a little tiny new bit of life growing there. So if I wiggle those roots in that earth, just like that, hopefully new leaves will come out. This potato is a bit of a different story. I'm gonna have to bury him quite deep. I'll probably plant this guy back in my yard later, but for now, just to show you, I would grow it, and I'd probably put the sprout growing, or the sprout, <laughs> the sprout growing up. So wiggle, 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 like that. Bury him in. And then I'm going to have to keep these nice and wet and protected as they grow. If you do this at home, will you please show me pictures of your progress as well? Some people do this in a little jar. They actually will just put a, a jar in their window ledge and put them in there. And that's what I've done with these two. Look at the big, long roots that they grow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then you can grow more vegetables from vegetables you already have. Thanks for watching and listening, guys. Oh, also, if you'd really like to grow something on your own but you have no seeds and no earth, let me know, and I'll see if I can send you something in the mail. I'll send you a little bit of seeds in the mail, and you can try growing some your own. Just let me know. Bye, friends. Hi, friends. I wanted to give you a little update. It's been a few weeks since I planted those green onions from my kitchen and the leftover lettuce, and I wanted to show you how much has grown from those plants in just a few weeks. So I could snip these off with some scissors, and um, put them in my cooking and then leave the plant in the soil to grow. Now you can see that the green onions have grown nice and tall, but the lettuce hasn't done much until you look really closely. Can you see that little teeny sprout of lettuce there? Just a little sprout. So um, you can use seeds to grow plants or you can sometimes use the part of the original plant to grow more plants.